I hope everybody's been doing great, and welcome back to episode 6 of Nano News. My voice still might be a little messed up because I've been sick for the past week, but I hope everyone thinks doing great, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Nano News. First up, we have some amazing new skimmers from Gnome Glass. These skimmers are all hand blown and work by utilizing a small air stone. This air stone produces bubbles and works waste all the way up to the top of the skimmer and through a drain. These skimmers have a small footprint, low power consumption, and are fairly quiet. They are currently available in three models, a 32mm version for $45, a 38mm version for $55, and a 44mm version for $70. You can check out these awesome skimmers at gnomeglass.com. If you're looking for a new 10 gallon and possibly have a spare $6,500 laying around, then you're in luck. You should check out this bizarre aquarium made by Dutch artisans. These tanks are designed and produced in the Netherlands and are created using several pieces of hand cut glass plates. This aquarium includes a built-in filter system and holds around 10 gallons of water. If you're looking for one of the most expensive 10 gallons that money can buy, then you should definitely check this out, but have fun aquascaping it. I bet something in your tank or your tank itself has done something strange while you were out of town. Well yesterday, my friend was watching my tank and noticed that my recordia had gotten a little too hungry. This little mushroom had an entire snail in its mouth. I guess I should try spot feeding it a little bit more. I'm not personally a fan of using UV sterilizers, but they do have a purpose and work well in some aquariums. There aren't many options for nano aquariums when it comes to UV sterilizers, but if you are looking for a UV sterilizer, then you should definitely check out JBJ's Nano Zap. The Nano Zap is the smallest inline UV sterilizer to date. It is designed to combat harmful microorganisms in saltwater tanks that are less than 30 gallons. The entire sterilizer is submersible and it is designed to be used by the return pumps in most AIO aquariums. All you have to do is hook up the Nano Zap into your existing pump setup and you're ready to neutralize all of those pesky pathogens. I recently came across an awesome site called microreefs.com. It's a great place for all of us nano reefers, but particularly for all of those that enjoy Pico aquariums. The site's homepage even features a simple guide on how to set up one of their tanks with easy to follow pictures. The site also offers a unique look at their products in use under their video and picture section. I really enjoyed looking at this because it gives you an idea of what you can do with their products. The most memorable section of this website would have to be their product section. It basically contains a near endless list of all of their available products. But I would like to highlight something that I've never seen before. You can get the world's smallest cold water reef tank setup shipped right to your door. The tank contains a 2 gallon acrylic aquarium with a blue or black background of your choice, a modded AquaClear 20 filter that connects to a Coolworks micro chiller that also comes with a controller. The setup includes an Odyssey temperature gauge to calibrate the controller and a Coral Life Mini T5 fixture that is reef ready. You can get all of this for $29.99 with free shipping. If that didn't impress you, then listen to this. Mike, the owner of Micro Reefs, has told me that if you visit their site after watching this video and you send him an email saying that you came from Nano News, then he will grant you a 10% discount off your first order with Micro Reefs. You should definitely jump on this and check out the wide variety over at microreefs.com. I'm sure many of you are familiar with lionfish, but you may not have seen this unusual way that they disorient their prey. In this video, you'll see a lionfish do something pretty peculiar. He's actually blowing water at that fish. I guess he's trying to scare it into his mouth. But it doesn't work. In this part, they actually use a blue dye so you can see just how effective the lionfish is at spitting water. Now it's finally time for the FTS of the week. This week's FTS is of Steely 185 17.4 gallon rimless reef. His aquarium was manufactured by Mr. Aqua and it is lit by a single Kessel 15K ocean blue LED light. His corals look fantastic and his tank would make any avid reefer envious. And that is why he is worthy of the FTS of the week title. Aren't his LPS awesome? If you'd like to be featured in the next episode's FTS of the Week, then you need to check out the new Nano News Facebook page where you can submit your pictures and videos and see if you make it into the next episode. I will also be utilizing the Nano Reef submission thread as well, so be sure and check this video's description for both of those links. Well, that's all I got for episode 6 of Nano News. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so you're automatically notified every time I make a new video. Don't forget to like the new Facebook page. Happy reefing! Ooh.